Hello and welcome to Spark. My name is Henny Mark. I'm here today with uh, Mrs. Annie Barsalou. Um, could you please tell us a little bit about uh, your background and how you became the owner of uh, Spark Lava uh, uh, Well, um, at the beginning I, I wasn't meant to uh, on this restaurant, I was uh, going. Uh, I was studying in uh, administration uh, for uh, hostelry, uh, more than a restaurant. And um, in the in the time that my father decided to uh, sell the restaurant, I just said, "Well, oh, well, maybe it's a good a good uh, I don't know, a good uh, I, I, I'd like to take it. So I'd like a good experience." So I decided to take it and uh, tell him to wait until I finish my uh, study and uh, he waited for me and after that I bought the restaurant. Yeah. Um, now that you're in food, what would you say was that moment when you were thinking, hey, I could go into this business and I believe that this is what I can do and succeed with it. What was the spark? Okay. Well, um, when we when I bought the restaurant, it was uh, it was a day-to-day -day job. I, I was uh, it was uh, an experience, and um, I, some way I, I'd like to, to see if I was able to administrate a, a business. So I was doing about everything in the restaurant administration and uh, cooking, uh, serving, uh, even doing the, the cleaning. And um, I was uh, in contact with the, the customers. So uh, one day somebody asked to uh, put some ingredients on the, the, the putsin, the regular putsin. So I decided to, uh, I, tell, I told him, well, if you want to make a menu and make a, a putsin of your own, maybe you could tell me which name you like to have for this putsin. And uh, once we began that, went like crazy. Everybody was, okay, I'm gonna put my own pizza on the menu, so I'm telling you I would like to add this, 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 and it's got that kind of way that we just expand our menu. Yeah. Um, for our maybe non quebecers viewers, from those people that are a little international, could you describe what a poutine is yes. so that they know a little bit? <laughs> well, for the Quebecers, it's uh, usual, but I know that it's not usual everywhere. So uh, the a poutine is a uh, french fries. Um, Cheddar cheese, like a, a church, um, how do you call it? Um, cheese curds, cheese curds, okay, and and uh, you need a good gravy on the top. So the cheese melt, and with the potatoes, it's very good. <laughs> so so basically, la uh, poutine is fries, cheese, and gravy, and hot gravy to hot melt gravy, the cheese yeah. and everything. Yeah. And what makes your La Bonquille special is that they offer a wide range of yeah. different types of poutine. Yeah. So we have some that have sausages in it and everything. Well, we uh, combine uh, a lot of uh, things. We, do, we have meats, yes, we have shredded beef, uh, bacon, uh, sausages, uh, different kinds of sausage. Uh, we have uh, vegetables, uh, green pepper, onions, uh, and we even add some other things like uh, guacamole, uh, sour cream. Um, we have a good poutine called la, la taquise and it's, uh, we put the fries, the, the cheese, the gravy and also on the topping we put diced tomatoes, guacamole and sour cream and it's very good. <laughs> uh, since you own the restaurant, what would you say your biggest challenges were uh, as a manager uh, and now that the restaurant has gained a, direct, a lot of uh, a big following? Is it harder to manage all this? I would say that it was uh, harder when we were so much expanding. <laughs> you know, it, the, the thing is, each year the big challenge for us was to, to own a different restaurant each year. Because uh, when you sell more, well, you need to, to think about the, the, well, you have more employees, you have other kind of problems, uh, the equipment maybe is not working uh, as fast as we would like to. And it was that kind of challenge that we had at that, at that moment. So about, I would say, uh, almost uh, 12, 14 years, uh, we were like expanding like this. So uh, we start like five or 10 employees at 1994 when I owned a restaurant at the beginning. And now we're about 80. So basically what I understood is you were in a particular field and you took an opportunity and drove it home, as in yeah. really put all the effort in and now it's established business. Would you convey that to the audience? Could you 
give them words of motivation for people who are also in that situation where they, they, they want their own business, but they're, they're afraid to take the step. They're afraid to say, you know what, I'm going to start with 10 people and then eventually grow to be the number one boutique place in Canada. Uh, in Canada. You cannot do everything that on your own. That's the first thing I would say. And to make sure that all your dreams happen is to uh, make sure that you have all the good people around you to, that completes you. And after that, you can uh, reach your goal and it's going to happen. But it's very stressful and it's very difficult to just do everything. It's, when you go like like this restaurant, I wouldn't do it. I wouldn't be able to uh, to have and to to own that kind of restaurant on first day time today. So it's little steps. Yeah, little steps. Grow. Yeah, some comfort. If you're just too comfortable on your comfort zone, well, you don't uh, you don't evolve. You don't evaluate. Evaluate. Yeah. 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 Like and yeah, that's it. That's it. That was perfect. That was, uh, we got a slice uh, of your life. We got to understand a little bit who is uh, managing this restaurant. And uh, thank you for your time again. Uh, thank you. <laughs> thank you very much. <laughs> um, don't forget to, uh, to subscribe to our channel on YouTube. It's Spark, or type in Spark Inspires to find us faster. Uh, also like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. Thank you. Something like that, yeah. Um, so basically now that you are established, now that you have the restaurant, manager, what is a day in the life of the manager, of course the manager? Okay. I would say in the beginning of the, my day, I always think that the, the children are the, the first thing. The primary thing. Yeah, the primary thing. And so I uh, start the day <laughs> with just doing the breakfast and everything for the kids and uh, after that we put them at school and I'm coming. And when I'm coming at the restaurant, I just call Marita, that is the, my first wine manager, and I, okay, how's it working? So uh, she's telling me all the things that's going to happen today, uh, if something is broken or something like that, and we talk about it and we manage it. After that, there are going to be the, the two other uh, manager, the one that uh, uh, managed uh, the waiters and the one that managed uh, the kitchen. And uh, of course, in the kitchen, we have a lot of <laughs> problems <laughs> of its own because there's a lot of equipment. So I'm the one who's going to uh, see if we have to just change equipment, or just uh, see if we just repair it. But that's my little job, and making sure that everybody's happy with their, with their with their job. I think my first thing that I have to do is make sure that everybody's happy, so I know that when they're happy, we can do a good job for them for the rest. Of them. That's my day. <laughs> <laughs>